so I, I got a chance to meet a lot of uh, school uh, IT personnel that managed small classroom uh, lab infrastructures, and they said they had a very basic need. They wanted the ability to protect their PCs from student errors as well as malicious hacking. Uh, and so they found that uh, there are a lot of products on the market. There were some free utilities from Microsoft, such as um, Shared Computing Toolkit and Steady State. And then on the other end of the spectrum, there were expensive solutions that would restore your PC on every restart. So I took a step back and I said, well, you know, Perhaps we can help in this need. These people, uh, obviously, they don't have a, a lot of money, they have limited budgets, and they have a very simple need. So for us, being a uh, leader in Rollback RX technology, for us, it was, it was a, a sure fit. What we did is we removed 90% of the functionality from our Rollback product to create a single baseline architecture which would suit uh, many of these uh, classrooms. So in reality, what Reboot Restore RX does Students come into a classroom, they get creative, they can delete files, hack the registry, download porn, it doesn't matter what they do because the next time they turn the PC on or restart the computer, or if the teacher does that, it will roll back to the baseline and all their changes would vanish. So um, the Reboot Restore X is free. Um, it's designed for um, schools that have limited budgets that want to participate in having advanced technology in their IT departments. Our play in this is we want them to adopt uh, our freeware utility called Reboot Restore RX. Um, we want them to understand that we've got a better technology available to them. And as their IT department grows and uh, as their IT needs grow, they will move progressively on to our Drive Vaccine and Rollback RX products or our virtual desktop infrastructure. So the interface of Reboot Restore RX is very simple. When you see a gr the grayed out icon, it basically means that the restore protection is off. And when you simply right click and click on Restore on Reboot. And within a few seconds, you'll see that the icon changes to a gold color. And when you put your cursor over the tray icon, it'll tell you that the restore protection is on and that the baseline uh, has been created. So now we're going to simulate what typical students and users may do in a public access environment and add a whole bunch of garbage onto the desktop. So now if we try to reboot the machine, and there you go, the system restores to its baseline.